All right, solving this problem. Uh, first thing I did, I'm working with the left side, is I um, converted these to their sine, cosine equivalent. And then what I'm gonna do, and the second portion, what I did down here is I, um, I got a common denominator for the numerator and denominator. So here's the divisor, but then the numerator and denominator for top and bottom. Um, so now what I can do is divide them through. Yeah, I did all this beforehand before starting the video because sometimes these can be pretty complicated. And I want to do a whole video where I take a wrong turn and then, you know, the viewer gets upset. Okay, so one plus sine theta, uh, it's time to divide them or multiply by the reciprocal times sine theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta. All right, so it doesn't look like we can do too much now, but there's a quick trick here. So uh, this portion right here, what we can do is we can pull out a cosine theta and we get one plus sine theta. Oh, hey, that looks kind of convenient. This crosses this out right here and this just becomes one. So we get sine over theta over cosine squared theta, which we can make sine theta over cosine theta times one over cosine theta, because we can pull out one of the cosine theta, so it works out nicely. And this is equal to tangent, and this is equal to secant, so we get tangent theta times secant theta. And that's it. Hey, that worked out. A little bit of complicated, a little complicated, but it worked out in the end, so that's great. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.